Welcome back to Character Select, where Tyler has just taken a drink. Mm. Of sweet, delicious diet. Uh, so I gained a level. Um, I fought some dudes, and we're up to the... All right, I won. <laughs> hey, and I leveled up. <laughs> sweet. Weren't you level 8 before? Uh, guess now I'm level 10. Why are you gaining so many levels? Because this is a game that encourages it. I think you get to, like, level 50 or 60 by the end of the game. That's like any other RPG. Actually, no. A lot of RPGs... Any Final Fantasy. Yeah. I'm trying to think of... There's, like, Dragon Quest. Or Pokemon. Pokemon, you usually end the game around level 50 or 60. Yeah. Dragon Quest is basically, oh, you better be able to finish this at level 20. Because <laughs> that's as far as we're willing to go. But then they give you all the other alternatives for leveling up, and then it's just weird. Super wondrous items and stuff. Like well, in 8, where you have the awesome Metal King Slime Sword. Yes. But no, I'm talking about in uh, seven or 6 and 7, where they introduced uh, job classes. Oh, yeah. Which, you know, <laughs> there were so many ways to break the game with that, it was awesome. You know, 7... I played that game for about 120 hours. I still never finished it. I How? lost to the last boss, and I just said, fuck it. I spent 100 hours, get, like literally 100 hours, it said that in the timer, getting to disc 2. I just got to disc 2, and then I was like, you know what, I made it to disc 2, I'm gonna take a break. And you never went back. Never went back. Still have the, the memory card, though. That flash memory just doesn't go away. It will eventually. Yeah, but that's gonna take, like, years. All right, it's a boss. Sweet. I'm gonna eat possibly two hamburgers. You're gonna be so diabetic by the end of this game. Mmm, delicious. Diabetes. She finally got here. This is the first your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. I'll Take mine. it from me if you dare. The final boss is Wilford Brindley. Oh no, it's a titanic ant and a black antoid. All right, we're gonna use the power of Psy Gaming Alpha. Use Ow. the power of video games. Whee! It looks the same no matter what you call it, which is why I don't like to call it the uh, Psy Rockin' because it looks like video game stuff. Psy eighties. Oh no, he's stealing my Psy! Damn it! He stole my PP. 44 points of damage! Your PP is My so small God. now. Oh, now he's got protected by a shield of light. One thing I do like is that you can look at him and see that he's very obviously a black antoid. That's yeah, just been with mutated. The little ear doodles or yep. antenna doodles. It's just been mutated, that's all. Nope, with wrong power! Shit. I did not mean to use side gaming. Holy yeah. fuck, he does a lot of damage. He does. But I killed him! Hooray! Yay! 759 XP. Another level. Aw, oh, yeah, baby. Maximum HP went up by 13. Alright. And now, uh, all my plans have been ruined. So ruined! It's, so it's a giant step. It's literally a giant footprint. The rear Ness caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. Oh. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. Oh, and, like puppy. and the best part is, whenever you finish a, uh, your sanctuary location, full HP, full PP. My PP pee -pee is yeah. back and raring to go! It's raging out of control. <sighs> also, the enemies all now run away from you. And in most cases, you automatically win. <laughs> So it's free experience and money. Reminds me of uh, Super Mario RPG when you get the star item and you're like, fuck yeah! And you run around like kicking ah! all the enemies. <laughs> you just... And it's like, you leveled up, you leveled up, you leveled up, and you're like, yes! This is the best thing ever! <laughs> and then it runs out and you run into like three battles and you're like, shit! But by then you're like three levels higher, so it's all good. But you can't level up until... You, well, no, I guess it prevents you from getting into a battle until you've leveled up. So that's alright. 
Alright, enough dicking around in this cave. Let's, uh, let's head back to one it. Look at all these bugs! They're all terrified of me. So I'm gonna fight them. All of them at once. Yep. You know why? Sagaming! Sagaming! You'll get caught up in the Sagaming! Oh, Crossfire. Um, there's some bosses in the game that are almost functionally impossible to beat unless you use a specific method. Which, if you don't know about it, is really easy to overlook and makes the game really hard. I like uh, hard games. There's just bosses that have so much HP that you can't do enough damage before you run out of PP. Mm -hmm. So, get out of my way, boys. New boss coming through. His name is Sniss. His name is Ninten. Ah, uh, poor Ninten. Also, I'm pretty sure that Frank is the character, or is one of the party members from, uh, the Mother One. I could be wrong on that. I don't know. Hey you, the board says do not enter. Couldn't you read it? Could I read it? Uh, no. It's behind a tree. What a rebellious kid. Come to the one at police station later. Thanks for sort of arresting me, I guess. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you I'll, need to come I'll, to the police station. All right. I'll totally go to the police station later. Fuck you. I'm not saying that you're a bad police officer. I'm saying that you're a terrible police officer. Is that pig pen? Possibly. It's just one of the the way one of the sprites looks. He shows up every so often. He doesn't say anything important, so we're not going to talk to him. Neither does pig pen. <laughs> we need to stop at the hotel though. So extravagant, spending all this money on hotels. When my mom lives in the same town, I mean, jeez. I mean, yeah. Ness? Ness. Ness. I'm a friend who you have never met before. My name is Paula. Paula Dean. Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. Alright. That was weird. What do you have to say? Here's your free copy of the morning newspaper. Tamer of the Sharks, actually a boy in a red cap. Hey kid, Sweet. here's your newspaper! <laughs> Ain't got the scratch, but I'll take the paper. <laughs> what? <laughs> you never heard that before? I have, and I think it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I don't think anybody's ever said that in the history of movies, but it's from Penny Arcade, so I love it. No, I remember. Um, so we need to go to the police station, because we want to go to Tucson, but the uh, the cops are blocking the way out of town, so we gotta go to the police station and ask them to let us through. And they asked us to very politely to come by. I like how the police station is, like, plated with gold. <laughs> You're the little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here. Don't enter means just that. Do. Not. Enter. You got that? And furthermore, blah, 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 blah. It's usually those tax evaders who blah, 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 blah. We don't enjoy blocking off the roads, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's usually the local whiners that make a big deal about emergencies and meteorites. Blah, 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 blah. All right, that was enough. Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. Times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, you sure you want to go to Tucson? Yes. Okay, <laughs> follow me. Not leaving. Where are we going? Um, this is kind of disturbing and uh, out of context. Show me what you got. See if you can get past five of my best men. Yeah, it's time bring for some good old fashioned. You bring them into a back room and have a bunch of policemen try and beat up a thirteen-year-old. Yep. Welcome to <laughs> fucking Earthbound. <laughs> just insanity. It's like, wait a minute, is this some serious police brutality on a kid shit? Yes, it is. <laughs> but it's okay because they give me XP. You're tough. You should join the police force. So Your average policeman is stronger kids. than any superhero. Does 
this cop know Kung Fu or something? I mean, look at him. It's like, what the? He just attacked me with a crushing chop, so maybe he does. Judo chop! Oh, shoot. Da! Didn't go fast enough. Shoot. Oh, the policeman killed you. The policeman inflicted some police brutality on my 13 year old self. I don't know how actually old he is. Can you look that up? I can try. There's gotta be like an earthbound wiki or something. Oh, there's a wiki for everything. Uh, wait, I need PP. According to the various Mother 2 materials, he's supposed to be 11. 11? Wow. So much worse. Come here, Magic Butterfly. No, 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 come back. I need you, Magic Butterfly. Thank you. Don't have to spend the night in a motel now. Hmm. Got all Rub that butterfly all over my body. All over my pee pee. Thank you. Get that pee pee up. Yes, I want to go to Tucson. Yes, take me into the back room. Yes, let me fight your police officers. Blah, 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 blah. Da, 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 da. So do you have to fight all of them again, or just the... All of them. I'm pretty sure. I've never actually failed at this. Nope, all of them. It wouldn't be so bad if I could actually do, like, significant damage, but I really can't. That's the problem. Or if we had, like, some kind of full plate mail. <laughs> or if we could, like, tase them or something? I don't know. Don't tase me, bro. T tase me, bro. And then it turns out the police chief is the thing from the thing and turns into, like some monstrosity. Is the thing from the thing? That's descriptive. Well, I mean, it never had a name. What? What are you talking about? Have you never seen the movie? Oh, the, the thing. thing from the movie, the thing. Yes. I thought you were just referring to two generic the things. No. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? Well, that's why I went on to elaborate that he would turn into some horrific alien monstrosity. <laughs> it was still not very clear. Well, it's because you started, like, whining about it after I said the thing from the thing. <laughs> the thing from the thing. Don't let the mayor's compliments give you a big head. Bring it on, fat boy! It's like, I mean, I'm sorry, but that's the title of the movie, so, I mean... I've never actually seen it. Have you ever it. seen The Thing, you know? With The Thing? Maybe. It's the movie that's got the thing in it? <laughs> There's some serious problems you can get into in that conversation. Uh, I've never actually seen that movie. I don't really like horror movies. I've never seen Alien. Yeah, I've seen Alien 2... or Aliens. Not... not the best. It was terrifying. Alien Stop one looked, punching me. Alien 1 looked better, though. Well, Alien 1 had an alien. Yes. Alien 2 just tried to up the fear factor by adding more. Well, I mean... I don't know, I just I feel that... It seems like it would be a tighter narrative would there just be one on a really small... setting. Well, that's what they did with, um... With whatchamacallit, right? Um... Uh, Alien Isolation. No, you're set on a full space station on Alien yeah, but, Isolation. But there's only one alien, right? Uh... Pretty sure that's the case. Spoilers? Oh, okay. If you... <laughs> Alright. I mean, I've, I've, watched a, I've watched a playthrough of it, and uh, you okay. care about spoilers? Yes, actually. Okay. Just leave, we'll leave it at that. So check it out, this guy says, that's it, buddy. You can forget about me, I'm gonna go call for my boss. <laughs> and he runs off. There's no way I could beat you in a straight competition, so... Get ready for my Super Ultra Ma Mambo Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts. Jesus Christ. I mean... It is, it has to be said, though, through most of the game, you only ever see one alien. So, right. yeah. So you always sort of associated as the alien. 
Right. Which I feel is a bit scarier. I feel like terror isn't necessarily not knowing what's there, but knowing what's there and being helpless to do anything about it. Well, it's like Pyramid Head in Silent Hill 2. Pyramid Head basically was, uh, he's coming for you and you're pretty much screwed. <laughs> you can't kill him, he will not stop. That's what made the Terminator so terrifying, was the Terminator was basically, he won't stop, he can't stop, unless you completely destroy him, and we're not entirely sure how to do that. Put him into a metal plate press. Yeah, that worked. Alright. So, we beat all the cops. We are stronger than the entire one at police force. And oh, we realized the power of shield alpha. I didn't think you would do so well against the mighty one at police force. Want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a sec, I'll radio my staff and give them the word. Beep beep, click, err. Click, strong here, do you read me? Hey! It's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen, a kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that. Don't ask me why, just do it. That's an order. Strong out. Well, kid, I'm not going to question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. Uh, there is actually some reasoning behind them trying to beat the crap out of you in a back room. But I don't want to ruin it, so I won't say it. Does it have to do with the alien affecting the evil in the people's minds? Yeah, you figured it out. They it's meant, a, the the freaking bee told you about that at the beginning of the <laughs> game. It's just one of those things that's never actually clarified. So it's it, it's something that you can infer, but they never actually clarify it for you. Right. So we have a thousand dollars. Man, we can buy that Wii U. And a PlayStation 4. Oh yeah. Get that but, new Zelda game coming out. I don't know, I haven't followed the Zelda game at all. It's supposed to be, from what I understand, sort of a remake of the very first game. Mm hmm In that it's open world and sort of is set in that same world. Oh, cool. So I don't I don't know much about it, but from what I understand, it's a remake. Well, not a remake, but sort of like a Link Between Worlds or something like that. It's okay. Just with you know a severe graphical overhaul. So. Um, if you're watching this episode after that has come out, please uh let us know how wrong we are in the comments. Yeah. I live rent free in the mouse's house. The mouse well, how is known as I am specifically, so. Sure. I just got an exit mouse. Does that make sense? Okay. Do, 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 do. And insta win. Oh no. Oh no, black antoids! And air. Psy Gaming Alpha. MFAs. Aw, yeah. Uh, I'm being attacked by mushrooms. Ramblin' Evil Mushroom? Oh, God, no! <laughs> Hamburger in that present. I'm the one that keeps saying Galaga, or Galaga, or Galaga. <laughs> Galaga. <laughs> you fucked it up. You fucked it up. You fucked it up. You fucked it up. Galaga. Galaga. Oh no, I've been infected by mushrooms. Now you're gonna grow out mushrooms out your ears. Nope. Controls are backwards. Top of my head. No. Oh, dang. Uh, we're not on. We're not to Tucson yet. It's a long road. Now we have to go through the Viridian Forest. Nope, we're in Tucson. You missed. We cut that whole section where we caught Pikachu, <laughs> and um, we fought all the bug trainers, and then uh, we released Pikachu because it's not Pokemon. 
<laughs> uh, and then we caught a Dratini. You can't catch a Dratini in Viridian Forest. Come on, man. Dude, we did. It's because you weren't paying attention. Maybe. I just remember the Weedle. Okay. So much Weedle, man. <laughs> My name is Weedle. 420 of them. Every day. Alright, so we are going to take a break. 50 bucks. Blech. It's a good thing I woke up with a mushroom on my head. This is highway of robbery! Whoa, 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 it does change your controls! You thought I was bullshitting you. <laughs> hey, kid, how about the news, Papa? <laughs> Tucson Tribune headline Ghosts found to inhabit tunnel to three. Oh man, my controls are all janked. <laughs> <laughs> it, I didn't. I honestly did not know that that happened because I. Why do you have a mushroom on your head? Because he loves mushrooms. Look at his shirt. Uh, ah. Maybe you need to buy a cold remedy. <laughs> no, I have a cold remedy. It won't help for this. Do I have a mushroom on my head? Yes, that's what I thought. Recently, I couldn't walk quite right. It's because of this mushroom. It's actually kind of fun, so I'll leave it there. <laughs> well, no. I have this mushroom growing out of my head, but it's okay. I love parasitic fungi. It's a fun guy. It's just digging into my brain is all. All right, so we're going to save here and uh, switch over to Tyler for the next episode. What, what? Because next time on Character Select, we're going to explore the town of Tucson. Tucson, Arizona. Bye.